Hi everyone, I'm Patrick Brown and welcome to the next monthly project. This is number 21 and this month's theme is the chibi art style. So all of my patrons went away for the month and they've been drawing in this art style. If you're not familiar with chibi, it originated in Japan. Uh, it's a really fun style. The characters have really big heads and small bodies. It's got a really cute personality about it, very energetic. And it can be especially fun if you cross it over with certain characters. So the project brief was to draw any character you like in the chibi art style. And we had so many awesome submissions. We're going to check all those out soon. Through my Patreon, I also did a tutorial on how to draw the chibi art style. Everything that I know about the style anyway. Um, and that's just something to help go alongside this monthly project. And during the tutorial, I created a few chibi characters myself. Uh, had a blast doing it. So here we are at the end. Uh, let's dive straight into them and check them all out. And first off, I just want to congratulate uh, the critique winners. So each month I pick three submissions and I'm going to critique them, uh, go through them one by one and yeah, see if I can give you some feedback. So congratulations, Patrick, Frank and Eric. And we'll dive into those towards the end of the video. All right, let's check out all these submissions one by one. Uh, let's start with Jen. So have a look at this. This is Spawn uh, in the chibi art style. <laughs> I love it. This is one of those great examples where an edgy character can look really, really cool in this kind of style. So I really love what you've done here. Super clean, look at that. You really know what you're doing with your line work and just the flow. Um, it's very, very bouncy and cartoony. Very beautiful work. I love that background too. I love how it's holding this all together. Very, very nice. And next up, we've got Renee. And I love what you've done here. These are beautiful. Really, really cool style. You've got Spider-Man No Way Home over here. You've done three of them. Those proportions are spot on for Chibi as well. Really, really nice. And you've also got Darth Maul over here from Star Wars. I really love what you've done with these backdrops. They just really work really well in this kind of style. And your work just looks so professional. You've, you've really outdone it here. I think this is absolutely beautiful. And next up, we've got Jeremy. And you've done this awesome submission from Elden Ring. I'm really deep into that game myself. Really loving it. So I was really stoked to see this one. And she's got the, the four arms. Uh, yeah, really cool. I like it in this style as well. I love the color palette that you've chosen and the uh, and the line work is looking really, really clean there. I love that ghost figure coming out of the side of her face as well. Beautiful work. I really like that one. All right, next up is Craig Stewart. Uh, you've done Ninja Turtles, which is really cool for the chibi style. I just think that works really nice. Props to you as well for doing like four characters. That's, that's no easy task. I love how they're just popping out of the sewer. There's so much energy in this one. I really love it. They're really well drawn. So yeah, thanks Craig, that's awesome. All right, next is Carl. And you've done Scarlet Witch over here. So here's Wanda. Um, that's good timing as well. You've got the movie coming out very soon. She looks great. Looks really cool in this style. Your work's always so clean and professional looking as well. Really good. And Moon Knight, I've really been loving the show lately. That's good to see. I like this, so much detail in that for a chibi character. Just looks so nice. I love what you've done there. Beautiful stuff. That backdrop's looking really good too. And next up, we've got another Moon Knight character here from Machiavelli Art. And uh, let's have a look a little bit closer. Super clean work, really nice. I like that outer white line that's um, really holding the character together. It just makes them pop out a little bit more too. And it works especially well for this style. Really clean work. This is very professional looking. Look at that texture that's coming through. I love that kind of color halftone effect that's really going through that dotted effect. Really looks nice. So yeah, top work there, really loving that one. All right, next up is Psy, and you've got one here of uh, Morbius, the vampire. And as usual, you've done three characters here. And you've got Blade over here, Wesley Snipes, that's really, really cool. I love seeing these characters that I just wouldn't have thought of in this style, I love it. Uh, you've also done a, the Boston Celtics logo over here as well. And that's looking really cool, very nice work there. Looks like you had a lot of fun with this chibi style. Yeah, well done, Psy. And next up is Abby. You've done uh, Mary Jane as Carnage and, uh, and Gwenham as well. You've done them both in this chibi style. So this is part of the comics where Mary Jane becomes Carnage. I think she's possessed by Carnage. And uh, yeah, really cool looking work here. I love what you've done. Definitely got those chibi proportions. Uh, super clean work, very nice. Looks awesome and I'm glad you did two characters. That looks really cool with them fighting together. So yeah, nice work, Abby. 
Uh, next up, we've got William. You've done uh, Spawn here. Such a cool character to do in the TV style. I love seeing this. I think we've got a few spawns this month as well. I love what you've done. This is great. Really clean. It's got such a cool style. Those lines are crisp. That texture coming through as well. Looking really good. I like that backdrop as well. Very nice work there. It's nice to see you back, William, doing some more work. Really cool stuff. Next up, we've got Paul. And you've done Marilyn Monroe in her iconic scene from that movie where she, her dress is blowing up. This is great. <laughs> I love what you've done. You've got such a nice, clean style. Really works for you, the TV style. It's looking, looking really cool here. Definitely got that likeness of her as well. That and, the, and a lot of volume going through her hair. I love that. That's so cool. Really nice idea there. Awesome work, Paul. And next up, we've got Paul Cameron. You've done Superman, Clark Kent here, busting out his shirt. Looks like you've done a mix here of, is that the Daily Globe? Is that what it's called? The Daily Planet um, down there as well. And you've got it kind of, he's popping out the top of that. Yeah, cool. That's looking really good. I like what you've done with the hair there. Lots of nice, fine details coming through there. Looking real slick. And next up, we've got Olivier. And you've done three pieces here. I'm not quite sure what this character is, sorry. I wasn't quite sure of that. But it's looking really cool. Looks like you've got a demon on strings, like a puppet. And also the demon's doing the same. <laughs> That's a cool idea. And we've got Bob Marley here in the middle, I'm pretty sure. That's awesome. That's really good. Very cartoony style. And I think this may be the same character from over here as well. Really well drawn. That's really cool. Looks like an album cover. That'd be really cool for an album cover. All right, thank you for that. Next up is Manuel, and you've got Naruto here. It's good to see some Naruto work in the uh, chibi style. That's looking really cool. Powering up an attack there, coming at us. Got some nice details coming in there through the hair. Uh, really nice kind of painted style here. Something different. Very cool stuff. Really nice to see. Thank you for your submission. And next is Luke, and you've got Judge Dredd. I just rewatched that movie recently. Love that movie. This is another good example of having those edgy characters in the chibi style. It's that clash of dark and gritty with uh, cute and bubbly. It just it works so well together. Super clean work there as well. So yeah, good one, Luke. Thanks for that. And next up is Joseph. And this is one of your original characters from uh, your comic that you've been making. And this is Malius. So uh, yeah, really cool to see some original work here. Got a ninja sword there getting thrown out. Cool action pose as well. So yeah, yeah, thanks for that, Joseph. It's really cool to see some original work. And next up is Robert. You've got Hellboy. Uh, and you've got like a full scene here as well in the chibi style. You've got a monster going up there and uh, another character held up there. I've forgotten the name of that one in Hellboy. But um, yeah, really nice to see an entire scene there. Really cool. Love Hellboy. Such a cool character. I bet you that was a lot of fun to do. Thanks, Robert. And next up is Douglas. Uh, you've got two characters here that you've done. You're always doing some in, insane, like, detailed work here. Very vibrant, too. So this one here, I think you mentioned it was a, a chocolate dessert character, I think you mentioned. And this is a character, Luca, from Chrono Trigger. It's an RPG video game. That's really cool to see some, some different stuff like that. Love the vibrance and the detail that you put into your work as well. So that's really cool. I hope you had fun with those. And next up is Aaron, and you've got a character here. This is apparently from a newish kind of comic series. Uh, this is Radiant Black. So it's a new character. Yeah, cool. I like this. I like what you've done there. I could definitely see that chibi style. You've done a really good job of the, the really dense kind of chrome look on that suit there. That rendering looks really nice. Yeah, nice work there, Aaron. Thanks for that. And next up is Justin. You've got such a cool character here. I don't actually know what this is from. I'm hoping it's Elden Ring. I'm, I'm thinking it might be Elden Ring. Uh, when you ride around your horse, but I can't be sure. I didn't see a title there, but I really love what you've done here. That looks so cool. Really badass. I love the look of that. Looks great. Nice to see a chibi horse as well. <laughs> and next up is Jordan. I thought I'd go all black for this one. Uh, this is The Dark Knight. So this is, this is from The Batman, the newer movie. Looking really cool. I like how you've got the Riddler symbol up there as well. This looks great. I'd love to buy like a bobblehead of this. The way you've got this set up, the pose, everything's just looking great. I really like that. You've done a really good job of that one, Jordan. Those textures are looking good too. Loving those textures. Next up is Joe. And you mentioned this is a character from a comic called Good Boy, <laughs> which I like the sound of. Got him walking away from an explosion. That looks really cool. Nice work on that explosion too. That's working really well for you. This is looking super slick. Look at that. Look how crisp this is. Very modern. 
that cell shading, the colors you've chosen, everything's just looking really nice here. I love that. You got a great style. I love it. Don't change. And next up is Jazood. And you've done Wolverine. My favorite is Logan. Have a look at this. I like what you've done. You've got like a bit of a 3D effect here. You see that, that offset? I really like that. That's kind of looking really cool here. Nice to see another Chibi Wolverine. I'm loving that. That looks really cool. Very rugged as well. And next up is Brett. And you've done a spawn over here. I really like the setup that you've got too with these bars coming down the middle. Really like the way this is drawn. Like very animated and cartoony. Just looks so cool. I love the way you've got the head held together. Like a really baby kind of head. It works really well for spawn. Because he's just such an edgy character. Um, and then you've got another one here of Guyver. So that's looking awesome too. It's my favorite thing to see these edgy characters in this style. Love that. Really nice work there, Brett. And next up is Virgilio. Let's have a look at this. You've got a full piece here. Lots of detail going in. Let's dive into it. Cool. Looks like you've had a lot of fun with this. It's nice to see a whole setup here, full piece in that chibi style as well. It's looking good. I especially like your dragon coming up there. That looks, that looks awesome. Yeah, really cool to see that. Really nice. And next up is Sasha. You've got uh, Lobo. This is one of the DC characters. Such a cool character. This is looking great, especially in that chibi style. This just works really well. Looks good. That backdrop's looking really nice. Super clean lines. Really liking this. Such a cool character to, to choose for this as well. And next up is Darren. And you've got a chibi character here. This looks like it might be a... Uh, is this someone you know? And you might have turned them into a chibi character? Because that's just... That's a cool idea. And I bet you they would have loved that. I didn't see a title on it, so I'm not sure if this is a character, an existing character or anything, but I really like what you've done. You've definitely got those chibi proportions in there. And that's just popping off the page, that is. Really nice work there. That line work's looking really good too. Love what you've done with the hair. And last up, we've got Brandon. And this is another Elden Ring character. And like I said, I'm really deep into that game, so I can relate to this. Uh, this is a big boss, apparently. I love how you've got the health bar there as well. You can see how much health is taken off. I especially like that with the fire, you've got some like rim lights coming up, uh, bouncing off his face and hair from that fire. Yeah, I really like what you've done there, Brandon. Love seeing some Elden Ring work, though. Thank you. Okay, time to dive into some critiques now. Uh, see if I can get some feedback for you guys. So we're going to start with Eric. And Eric's done this cool submission here. This is this is uh, Luke Skywalker in his early days on Tatooine. You can see he's got his lightsaber there as well. So, yeah, it looks good. I like what you've done with the line work. Uh, you've got some really nice bold lines and, and really good value going through them as well. I love how you've got thick going down to thin. Uh, good volume through them as well. Especially when you get those thinner details through the face and then bolder, bolder lines on the outside. It's a very artistic choice and I really... I think that's working for you really well so now we'll get into the critique a bit and uh, i think the main thing is just proportions with you um technically you've done a great job uh you know in the polishing side of things making you know the final touches they look good it's just proportions i think the first thing that i'll do is adjust the head so i'd actually probably make that the top half of the head much bigger even wider and i'm going to get that nose and i'm going to warp it right down and we're going to shrink it right down We'll just move that mouth over and maybe shrink that as well. And then I'm going to get those eyes and really make them... I want to lift them up a little bit. I feel like they're just dripping just a little bit. There we go. So this is the difference just with the eyes. You can kind of see there. And then with the face, I'm just going to pull out this little part here. We'll just smooth that out. You see how that's a bit smoother now? And then we really want to bump up that 70s hairstyle. So really, really get that buff head in there. Really pull them edges out. I'm just using Liquify, by the way in Photoshop. Another thing we're going to do is use this bloat tool over here and I'm just going to size it up and push right in the middle of the head. And you can see what it's doing. It's really making that head look a bit more buffed out. Press OK. There we go. See that difference? Now I'm going to part those eyes a fair bit more and just make them fit. Now I'm just playing with these pupils. We really want to size them up for TB, I think. So like really massive pupils. Um, just going to make sure I put them in the right place now. There we go. So those pupils are lined up now. I'm just going to lighten up the white of his eyes as well. I feel like it's just a little dark. So I just felt like a little bit grey before. So just lighten those up. There we go. Uh, and now that I've done that with the head, I'm actually going to get it again and free transform it wider. Like I'm going to go much wider. It's all about exaggeration, you know. So I'm just trying to make it, um, yeah, as, as silly as possible. 
And then the last thing I want to do is just, I feel like the body is just a little too long than, uh, than I think it would be for chibi. So I'm just going to take it down a little bit vertically. So I'm just squeezing it up. It's about right um, because you can have tall chibi characters. The proportions can be different. But I feel like to make this work, I feel like it would need to be about there. So, so let's just bring up that base, put it back where it was. And I might even flatten that out a little bit too. And the last thing I might do to this is just, I think we need to redo that backdrop just a bit. So I'm going to get a nice grunge brush and just do some flow behind. Like I literally just paint and scribble just like a backdrop in. There we go. I think that one might work. It's really hard to find a nice brush that actually works. And then with the eraser, I might chip away at some parts just to make it look a little, little better. I still really want to get those two suns in. So I'm going to try and just transform this a little bit for you. And then using a soft transparent one, I'll go, uh, let's do one there, then another one about there. Similar. Let's change the size just for, yeah, there we go. All right, well, I think that might work, something like that. You see, just using a bit of a grunge brush, I think, is, is probably nice. Uh, and it just ties into that Tatooine kind of grunginess. So that's it. That's, that's all I would do. Um, like I said, technically your character is beautiful. The uh, the line work, the coloring, color choices are great too. I love the simplified rendering. So let's just do a quick before and after. So before I started, um, that's what we had. And it was, like I said, it was just a proportion thing. It's just a couple of things with the proportions. So uh, before and after. You can see that chibi style starting to show more um, just with a few tweaks here and there. And that's, I just thought the body was just a little too tall. Um, and this shrinking that body will just introduce into the, like it moves it more into the chibi style more, adds that kind of cuteness to it. And again, uh, yeah, with that backdrop again, especially, I just thought the sharpness of this and the unique shape that was chosen for that, uh, just kind of threw me off a little bit. So having a little bit of a grungy wavy brush in the back is just like, it's an artist just literally just slaps, slapped in a background real quick, uh, gives it more of more character in a way. So yeah, there we go. Uh, bigger eyes, really, I, I really shrunk that nose down as well. So you see how that nose is a lot smaller and the mouth, everything's been pushed down. I mentioned it in my tutorial, actually, the chibi tutorial that you see how much head there actually is. And then this, this tiny little part at the bottom is only used for the eyes, nose and mouth. And then you've got this massive area, this massive area up here for the, just the head and maybe some hair up there. So that's the kind of thing I'm going for. I'm using this lower quarter of the head just for the eyes, nose, and mouth. And then the, the like, there's like 75% left for just the head and hair, which is pretty crazy. But that's the proportions of Chibi. So yeah, I hope that helps. Um, and thanks so much for your submission, Eric. I think that's a, that's a great submission of yours. All right, next up for the critiques is Frank. And I really like this. This is so cool. You've got this edgy kind of gothic girl. I'm not quite sure what this character is. Sorry, what, there, there was no name on the email about this character. But um, I like it. It looks cool. Might even be a Mortal Kombat character. I'm not quite sure. I'm just looking at these gauntlets. And uh, she's holding a human heart or something. And uh, yeah, so I, I wish I knew what the character was. But I'm sorry if I've uh, failed you there. Um, but I really like the look. And I think this is great. You've definitely nailed the uh, cheapy proportions. Everything seems pretty good. I'll just make a few tweaks here and there as we go. All right, so if you just have a look here, I've just drawn in uh, some proportions of the face. Now you've mostly got it. You can kind of see what I'm following here. I did take out that ear. I just feel like the ear is a bit big, but this is gonna help me. So I'm just gonna work with this. So I've just done some sketching over the top. Um, I was just trying to restructure the face so I could see the proportions of things like the cheeks and stuff like that, because I really wanted to be able to see the, the head itself. Um, that just helped me a bit. So I just want to show you how that helps. So if you just look here, so I just felt like the bottom is just a little too rounded. And as it gets up to the cheek, it looks like it continues straight up. I just feel like that cheek just keeps going like that. Do you see what I mean? So it kind of gives the impression that it just makes it feel like the head's a complete uh, sphere whereas we kind of need to have a shape like this that comes in and the cheek let me change the color so we can actually see 
something like that you see like an s curve the where you see the cheek come out and then back into the skull and then the skull comes up and over like that that's the kind of thing i was hoping to see so i i kind of did that with this one so i went up and it dips back in now and then wraps all the way back up and around and yeah just show you a before and after so you see with this ear here so i just felt like your ear was just a little too big so i've shrunk that down i'm going to do some hair over the top so don't worry about that and then with the mouth i kind of just squished it in a little bit more to get that kind of cute look you know as if their cheeks are real pudgy and squishing in kind of like a just kind of that cute look you know and just with the eyes i, I recommend highly recommend uh doing super thin up to really really thick in a real dramatic change so see how dramatic that is there um yours is close but i want to i would love to see more like where you've got that white that lighter line up above like if we reached that and then when you get to the under um the under lash i would have that much thinner so that from a distance it's real prominent um, you can really see that upper lash. It would just look really cool on this kind of gothic style character, I think. And also, it's just a personal choice of mine. This is your picture, but I, I felt like the little jagged... I felt like the little single hairs coming out was just a little bit too much. I like to simplify things, but that's just me. Um, you can do it your way. And I also just felt like with the eyes, so with the pupils, I really wanted this one to tuck in under that lid a lot more. Your pupil is turning into an oval um, and it's kind of like it's pushed up and it stops on this wall. What we want to do, what we want to do is actually have this eyelash here. This is the eyelid and then you want to have that eye, just that, think of that circle surpassing that and going past it this way. So you've got your pupil that's literally going all the way up and around and it continues through and around there. Like don't be afraid to crop that pupil off and it'll look much better. So when you're done, you just erase that part there, you know, and then you get that pretty much. You can see it's not that much different. Um, it's not that much different. These are just small tweaks. Also, another thing that I highly recommend um, is I just feel like the outlines need to be a little bit thicker. So I've just added some over the top. Now again, it's just a personal choice really, but, um, and I know a lot of chibi styles have really thin line work, especially you know all round, but I feel like it would really just bring this together. Have a look at the skull as well. So look around the outside of the skull. So before and then after. And I feel like that that's just really holding it together a lot more around here. And I love how it gets thick here, but then you've got thinner lines on the inner details. And I feel like that just um, would help a lot having some thicker lines um, around the outside of her. You see that? It's a big difference. And uh, yeah, I'll just tidy up around the, uh, the hands a little bit more. And, uh, you know, really hold it all together, but then leave these ones alone in the middle. So I'm just really going on the outside of anything like a hand. You know, you would even go around the outside of this this leg um, and that way it separates her from the skull even more and I just feel like these bold lines would really help so you check that out I really like that big difference especially from a distance uh, you can see that now she seems a little bit more held together and the last thing that I would do with her is, is I feel like the hair um, is just a little too thin and rugged around those edges too many little strands that are kind of pointing in different directions it's just I feel like it just makes it look a bit too messy now that's okay because it's like it kind of does suit that edgy look that rock kind of look but personally i'd love to see it a little more thicker in areas and just bolder there we go i think something like that might work um a lot bolder and thicker um i just felt like there was a bit too much uh yeah little edges going on there so i've just yeah thickened them up a lot simpler overall and i'll just quickly render a few pieces so when i'm rendering I'm going to go bigger swoops instead of a lot of the thinner ones. Um, so I'll go bigger, bigger chunks of volume coming through. And you can also add little strands like this. So just in some places I would. And then just making sure that this curl really stands out, I think would be pretty important. Um, and it'll look cool. Nice little final touch. So I'm just going to hold down the opacity on my brush and just go over again so it blends a little better. There we go. And the last thing I'll do is just add some outlines to that hair. 
And as I'm going, I'm kind of doing that thing where it's like thick around the outside to hold it together, but we'll do what you did and on the inside and keep it really thin. So thin outlines for the little fine details. But yeah, really bold on the outside. But you can see what I'm doing. I'm treating it like an overlap. So some of those bold ones can continue a little bit through in, in some places. And a cool little trick to do is when you get down to a little streak of hair like this, um, you can like fold, do it a little overlap like that as if there's another piece tucking under and in. You see that? So kind of like it's like a strand like this and then you've got another strand that tucks up under that. When I get to the hair outlines, I'm actually going to go a dark purple. So try and, I'm trying to match that color tone of that hair. See how these overlaps kind of can work? Just really whipping that around. Um, and I'll come around here and then I'll do another overlap. You see that? And then go around um, and try to keep some volume in there as well. That's, and then as we get underneath into any darker parts, I'm actually going to pack it in a bit with that with them outlines. So again, I'm going to pack it in quite hard when I get to these darker bits. So underneath this fringe, I'm actually going to start drawing some really heavy lines under here. Watch this. I'll show you. So I'll just start to gradually give that a gradient, but really just fill this in completely black. Um, I feel like that'll give a little, a, a lot of contrast to the hair. So we're going to add a lot of black shading here. I'll show you how that can look. They're kind of like that. So when I zoom out, you really get a nice contrast now with that curl coming down. It kind of changes everything. So even when I get to this one, I can pack in some shading here and really hammer it in. Here's another good area down here for that too. So right down as the hair goes behind the body, we might have one more curl there. And I'm pretty much going to have this completely black behind her. So that's just going to add a lot more, uh, yeah, contrast. So there we go. You see what I mean with that hair now? Um, and have a look at the contrast with the black outlines now in. So I, I just feel like that's really going to help it. Um, yeah, I think that's, that's it. That's about it for this one. And I'll just have a look. We'll do a bit of a comparison. So when I started, it was like that. Um, I haven't got the scars, I just realized. I didn't put the scars in, but that's okay. Um, you get the idea. So it's really, I was really just trying to smooth things out, I think, making it a little bit more, um, making it pop out a little bit more, I suppose, in a way, with, with the outlines mainly. Just really wanted to lift it out a little bit more, give it some more, more clarity or something. Like those thinner lines earlier, I just feel like just a little too, a little touch thin right through there. So you See how thin they can be. So, yeah, if I, I just recommend thickening them up. Um, I changed the eyes. The eyes are actually a little bigger, especially what I mentioned about the pupil tucking behind, all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, I hope that helps. Um, Frank, that's really good work. I'm not even going to touch the skull. I think that's a great skull, loving all those details. Um, the proportions, I barely touched any proportions. Well, I didn't on the body at all. Um, it was really just... Just the face and the head a little bit. Not even that much. Wasn't that dramatic. Um, so yeah, great work there, Frank. And I, I really, I hope that helps. And thanks so much for your submission. You're awesome. All right, last one. So here's Patrick's submission. And you got Wanda and Vision here. So Scarlet Witch. And these are really cool. I, I really love the show too. I was a big fan of WandaVision. Um, and it looks like this is probably a nod to that when they had their classic outfits on, or it could just be the classic characters. I'm not sure, but I'm hoping it's from the show, <laughs> just because I love it so much. Yeah, these are good. You've got some, um, you've got, look at this line work. I really wanted to point this out. Um, you've got some really nice line work, heavy weights that go into thin, and um, it's just like, it's got a, some good balance around there. That's what I really like to see. So you've got some good line work. Um, I think the only issues with this one is probably technical stuff and some coloring as well. So we got, and maybe some rendering. Overall, um, I feel like the colors might be a little washed out or something. They're just a little, they've just come across a little bit pale or something rather. It's hard to describe. Um, there's also, if you look at your outlines, they are, they're gray. They're, they're, I think they're a gray tone. Yeah, they're almost like a bluish tone all around which is really clashing with some of these colors. So we're gonna try and fix all that. I'll see if I can adjust it for you. Let's start off with some proportions though. So one of the main things I'm doing is I'm just sizing up the head. Do you see that difference there? So massive head. The other thing I wanna do is just kinda of add some volume into the hair. So I kinda of wanna give it more wavy. There we go, so see with the hair, just a little bit more volume. I feel like just before there's just not enough definition in the rendering. So I really wanted to just kinda of bring that in with some line work. 
Now let's really size these eyes up. So I'm going to bring them up nice and big. You know, just do a little reshaping as well. Just going to bring them up like cat eyes. You think of like really feminine kind of eyes. And a little closer together as well. So you see the eye size difference there? And what we really want to do for Chibi is bring them down nice and low, really low. And then what we need to do is get these cheeks really low as well. So bring them cheekbones way, way down, right, way down here. And, uh, and then we'll get that kind of look that we're going for. There we go. And now I can bring the eyes right down, like really low. So I'm going to give her a nice big forehead. So and now we'll start bringing in this nose and mouth. They need to go really close together. So I'll just bring that down. I think the best thing we can do is just remove the bottom part of her nose and just keep like a little hint of a nostril. There we go. And then I'll just maybe just change her mouth just slightly. And then again, I want to bring everything really low. Yeah, I'm just going to reshape it. And just with the eyes, I, we don't need this part here. Um, it's too too thick, too dark. See how they're just, they were just a little bit too, uh, too long. So what we'll do is bring them back, but we can have them just as... Think of just the eyelids. So just a little crease on top of the eyes to resemble where the, the eyelids would go. Even something as little as that, and that works out really well, I think. There we go. Now I'm just gonna detail the hair a little more. So yeah, a thing I wanted to talk about was just that we need to have, there we go. And I'm just gonna detail the hair. And uh, yeah, just see how the forehead's really massive with these chibi characters. It's just one thing to keep in mind as well. Really big foreheads. And the best thing you can do when adding volume into the hair is think of that little tuck under, like a wave, like you're seeing underneath the wave. And then you can start putting in some thicker detail here. And then, yeah, that resembles a bit more contrast and darkness there. So there we go. I feel like we've got some good proportions on that head now. Um, and it really resembles the chibi style a lot more. I think we just need to add a little bit of hair coming through here. There we go. That's better. So um, now we're just going to work with the body a little bit more. And the main thing I'm thinking is I, I feel like it's just a little too big. So the body's a bit big. Um, I'll size it down. Now, only a little bit. And then I'm going to go the bottom half. So I'll select all of this. Liquify. Um, if I go up and I size this shrink uh, tool really big and then just aim for the bottom legs and the bottom torso or anything like that. Really just shrink that down and then basically I'm going to just crunch it up. I'm going to really start squeezing it up and you want tiny little feet and there's like barely any feet at all so when it comes to actual feet shrink them right down to barely zilch you know. And I'm going to try and keep these proportions really simple and same with the legs I'm going to take out a lot of these curves and try and straighten it out a lot um, and when I get to the feet I want to keep them like really pointy and tiny and pointy like that yeah just like that and there we go and that's the kind of proportions that I'm looking for so you can keep the arms nice and big and then as the body lowers and gets lower and lower it just shrinks and shrinks and shrinks and shrinks as it gets down to barely anything see the feet are tiny there we go now her body is adjusted I've just put that arm over the top of her hair uh, so that's all ready to go um, I've put the cape behind her but much smaller now I've just done a bit of tidying up I just fixed the pupils because I felt like they were looking down before and so now they're looking up at us a little bit more so I just wanted to move them in and the rest is just some color adjustments now so I think we just need to go a little bit stronger with the colors a bit more dense so I'm just using the burn tool here on the cape and if I use the dodge tool I might be able to uh, lighten up the rest and with the dodge tool again set to highlights um, on the face and head I'm just going to do a quick once over over the face and head and I feel like that's gonna start to bring it to life a little bit more. Do you see how it's kind of dulled down a little bit before? So if I just keep lightening it up just maybe one more time or then I might go a hue saturation and bump that saturation up a bit and I think that'll really solve this and uh, everything will start to look a little bit better. And using the sponge tool now set to saturate I'm gonna go to those lips and just saturate those lips one of the main things I want to fix is just these outlines. I need to change that grayness to a color. So if I select all of her, I'm just going to go to uh, select color range. So if I sample, so I put this over here, if I sample that grayness, that dark gray, it should 
Select just those outlines for me. Yes, really cool. All right, best thing I can do for this is just to make a new layer above that, keeping that selection, set the color mode on that layer to, or the blending mode, I should say, to color, and then get a nice, even a hard brush, and just uh, size that up a little bit, and sample like a red, and then start coloring in the red areas here, wherever I want it to be red. And I'll deselect that and just show you um, what that's done, you see? And without losing that selection, I'll do the same with the others, so get that pink. And now I'll start colorizing those pink outlines wherever I want it to be pink. So that's good, it's working. And I also really want to darken these pupils, so I'm going to just go right in there and with the burn tool and just like really turn them to pitch black. Same with the eyelashes. And the last thing I'll do is a couple of final touches. I'm going to go around and I just want to outline these eyeball the pupils, sorry, the eyeballs. Put a nice thick border around those pupils, I think. That'll that'll really finish it off. And I might even thicken up the eyelashes. So let's thicken them up a bit more as well. Make them really dark. There we go. So I think that's made a big difference. Just have a look at the colorization of those lines. So I'll just zoom in about here. I'll just keep it there. So before I colorize those lines, just focus around here and then after. So before and then after. You can see the difference. I just really think that makes a massive change. It really softens her up. Uh, it's just more pleasing to the eye as well, really just colorizing those lines. So there we go, that should do it. Um, I'll do a quick before and after. I'll just show you uh, here. So before, uh, you can, do you see what I mean about the, um, the tone? The overall tone is just a little darker for some reason. And then, uh, and then now. So we've just kind of bumped it up. We want that vibrance a little bit more, you know, liven it up a little bit. That's, that's kind of what I was going for. Um, proportions wise, you can see what we've done just with the hair. Really wanted to add a lot more volume. Um, and just being able to see a bit of that rendering through the hair a bit more. Um, and before it was just a little soft. So I just wanted to strengthen that up. And the proportions of the head, so we can, you can see now that more chibi kind of look. Um, so really just bring them eyes down. Use this part of the head uh, for the face. So really put all the face down the lower half and then the top half can be all head. And the body as well. So what I mentioned with the body before was to... Um, Really just, you know, this part, you can see, see these hands, the hands are nearly the same. So the top torso, the arms are nearly the same. And then as it gets lower, it just keeps shrinking, shrinking, shrinking right down to the bottom uh, so that her feet get smaller. That's kind of how the chibi style works. So yeah, just I think as an overall summary, the things I would highlight are your uh, colorizing of outlines and probably just color vibrance as well. So just making it pop more. Uh, and, and a little bit of the proportions as well, I'd say. And, but apart from that, I mean, this is all your work here. I've just done a few adjustments. So this is you. It's just really just color adjustments. I just made it pop a little bit more and, and a couple of proportions. That's it. This is all you, though. That's yours. All right. Okay. Well, thanks so much, Patrick. And I hope that helps. And keep up the awesome work. All right, that's it for this monthly project, all wrapped up. That was a lot of fun. Um, I hope you guys got something out of those critiques. You did an awesome job, and I hope you enjoyed the chibi style. I think it's a lot of fun personally. I really think that um, it really opens up something in you, like help you move forward a little bit. I find it really useful for art block especially, because these are just so much fun, and it's kind of a break from everyday kind of stuff, especially when you mix them with a really cool character that you liked. But yeah, I, I hope those critiques helped in some way, so yeah. Awesome work guys. And check out all of these submissions. This is probably one of the bigger projects we've had in a while. Probably since one of the, uh, the collab ones that we did where everyone put in a piece and we made a huge picture. But um, yeah, I can, I can tell you guys had a blast with this. I hope this opened up some new techniques for you. Maybe you learnt something extra. But anyway, I'll leave it there and I'll start planning the next monthly project and get that out to my patrons. Don't forget, if you want to jump on board, head to patreon.com slash patrickbrown and uh, you can be a part of these projects. Uh, you also get a lot of other bonus content, uh, Photoshop documents, all my art files, I do tutorials every fortnight and we've got art competitions, there's heaps going on. So, all right. Thanks everybody and uh, have a good one. Keep drawing and uh, I'll see you in the next monthly project.